Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, they want us to find out what the speed is of the Earth around the sun. And so they give us that the radius of the path that the Earth moves around the sun is 93 million miles. Three and million miles. Okay. So let's put that into scientific notation. It's a little bit easier to work with. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in scientific notation, it will be 9.3 times 10 to the seven miles. And they tell us that of course the time is one year. We have to put that into seconds because they want it in meters per second, but we'll do all of these together. First off, we need to talk about how to uh, figure out going from radius to the path in meters per second. So we know that the formula for a circumference of a circle is equal to two pi times the radius. So we'll be using that and times two pi by the radius which will give us the circumference of the path of the Earth around the sun. And then we'll use that to convert into meters per second. So we have two pi times the radius, which we said was 9.3 times 10 to the seven miles. And now we're gonna use dimensional analysis. And we know that in one mile, now the miles will cancel. We want to go into feet and there is 5280 feet. If you don't have that unit memorized, you can find that at the beginning of the book, there was the section titled Useful Data. They have a bunch of conversion factors listed there. That's why I found it. Now let's go from feet into inches. So in one foot, there's of course 12 inches. And now in one inch, there is 2.54 centimeters. So now we're in metric units, the feet cancel, inches cancel, but we need meters. So in one meter, there is 100 centimeters. So now we're in meters and we just need to figure out how many seconds there are because this path right here takes one year. So in one year, so in one year we have 365.25 days. And let's give us some more room. So imagine this is all one long line, but I'm just gonna circle around here. So now the years will cancel and we're in meters per day, but we want to go from days and we know there's 24 hours in a day and in one hour, there is 3,600 seconds. You could have gone into minutes and then seconds, but essentially that's 60 times 60, which is 3,600 seconds. So I'm just skipping a step to save some space. All right, so now, as we've done on many other problems, all we have to do is to multiply and divide straight across. If it's on the top, we multiply. If it's on the bottom, like over here, then we'll divide. And so we have two pi times 9.3 times 10 to the seven. And then we're gonna multiply that by 5280 to put us into feet. And then multiply by 12 for inches, 2.54 for centimeters. Now we'll divide by 100 to put us into meters. Now we do the time, which was dividing by 365.25 days, divided by 24, and finally divided by 3600, which gives us 2.98 times, times 10 to the four. So we have 2.98 times 10 to the four, meters per second. The days canceled, hours canceled, and it was meters and seconds. So the speed of the earth moving around the sun is 2.98 times 10 to the four meters per second.